What is up everybody? This is Mike with Tiny Life Big Mission and in today's video we are going to be covering some exciting announcements as well as getting current on our prayer requests. Grab your word of truth and let's jump in. Welcome to The Power of Prayer. This segment of the channel is a prayer meeting that focuses on praying for requests that have been submitted by viewers. If you are seeking prayer or if you have a heart to pray for others, we welcome you and I thank you all for joining today. Welcome to The Power of Prayer. This segment of the channel is designed to be more of a live feed. The purpose is to provide a way for us as fellow believers to be able to connect with each other through prayer, even though this is an internet-based ministry. This is an instruction that we see from Paul, who is the apostle to the Gentiles, and we see it over and over and over throughout all of his epistles. Philippians 4, 6 says, Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. As a fellow brother and sister in Christ, I'm asking you all to be earnest in prayer for the requests that we are covering today. I will also provide a bullet point format for the repair request that we covered today in the video description that you should be able to copy and paste if you want to put it on to a um, list or something in your phone or some kind of application to be able to pray for people. Okay, so I'd like to start by first covering some personal requests and um, I guess first, I'll just announce that Caitlin and I have been approved to hike the PCT in 2024. For all those who do not know what the PCT is, uh, the PCT is, or I should say the Pacific Crest Trail, that's what PCT stands for, is what is called a through hike, meaning a trail that you hike all the way through from point to point. The PCT starts just over the American-Mexican border, uh, southeast of San Diego, and it goes all the way through California, Oregon, and Washington and finishes just over the northern border of the U.S. in Canada, just north of the Cascade Mountain National Park. It is approximately 2,600 miles in length, and it will take somewhere between four and six months to complete. We recently received our approved permits and reservations, and our start date is scheduled for March 3rd, so it's coming up really quick. We actually just got our three-week email uh, yesterday to go over all the final checks on everything. Uh, Kate and I have wanted to do this hike for many years now, and every year we'd pray, and God uh, would give us the answer of no until this year. So we're pretty excited about it. Uh, but as you can imagine, there are a lot of things that can happen or go wrong. So uh, I, I ask you to be in prayer for us, for our safety and for provision. Additionally, a lot of people on this trail will use this trail, the time that they spend on it, is a sabbatical or a spiritual journey to figure out who they are, what their purpose in this world is. So we also ask for your prayers that we might have the opportunity to share truth with those who are seeking enlightenment from their trek. Um, there's actually quite a mission field in this, and that's what we're hoping to do. We're going with the intent to, uh, Lord willing, win some souls. Now, I do not plan on stopping the work that I'm doing for this ministry. However, backpacking will limit the amount of things that I have access to, like a nice digital high-end resolution camera, laptop, sound equipment, and all that stuff that I use to produce these videos. So the production quality of my videos may come down a bit. I'll be recording everything, editing everything, and doing everything from my uh, smartphone, which uh, isn't the best smartphone. It's, uh, I think, a... Apple iPhone 10, um, so it's quite outdated, but it works just fine and it's doing the job. And so it will take me a little extra time, but um, my videos probably won't be as clean. Additionally, the content will most likely change a little bit. It takes a lot of time and resource to study the different religions. And since I will not have access to books and the internet, I will be putting the Bad Religion series on hold until I've completed the PCT. There are a number of topics that I can sh still share and teach about uh, from the trail, so the ministry will continue. 
I've been thinking about doing a Q&A series responding to questions that I've been asked over the years, as well as questions uh, that I receive while I'm on the trail. I have also considered doing a series of shorts, which is just shorter videos on YouTube. They, they actually have the name shorts. Um, I think they have to be under three minutes in length or something like that. So I've been thinking about possibly beefing up uh, my channel's shorts content and doing a mini series on um, specific verses in the King James Bible that have been changed in modern versions to where you can see how many they are and how much they really impact uh, what the words say. Um, if you have any ideas for topics that you think would be helpful to cover that won't take tons of research, please post them in the comment section below. Now, all that to say that hiking the PCT is not a 100% in concrete plan. Uh, for the last several months, I've been struggling with how to continue this ministry with the lack of funding that it receives. There have been several of you who have given a gift of uh, a one-time gift, and I don't want to come off as ungrateful. I'm super grateful. Uh, those of you who have given have truly helped this ministry, and I'm very, very grateful. But um, we have not received anyone who is willing to provide us any type of recurring support or uh, of any amount of support that is um, enough to meet our needs and living expenses from month to month. So uh, for a couple of months now, I've been working, trying to find a job. I put a resume together and I've been applying to all different kinds of jobs all over the spectrum. And uh, after lots of time and energy spent in the application process, I'm currently interviewing for a really good opportunity, which if I get the job, it will require me to get off of the PCT and go to work. Additionally, this job would require me to work a lot of hours, which will also have an effect on the amount of time that I have to spend on this ministry as well. So there's a ton of things up in the air for us right now, which can be a little stressful at times, but God is good and he will help us through those moments. So. Anyway, there may be several changes in format coming uh, over the next couple of months or so, but be patient with us as we get this all figured out and definitely uh, keep us in your prayers. Now, as new requests come in and this segment of the channel starts to grow, I ask that if you have requested prayer requests or if you've requested prayer from this channel, that you keep me updated and how we can best be praying for you as your needs or situation changes. There have been a number of requests that I've dropped off the list because I've not received any new information from the persons involved. Um, I hope that their situations have gone okay, but as I've reached out to them, I've not gotten any correspondence. Uh, for those who I have gotten correspondence with, I definitely wanted to give you some updates. Um, our last prayer uh, video was back in August, believe it or not. And I can't believe how long it's been. Time flies. But uh, I'd ask you to be praying for Janice in Idaho, who was just recently diagnosed with um, uterine cancer. And uh, they were rushing her into surgery. It wasn't looking very good. She was afraid for her life. But uh, I'm happy to, to praise God and that the surgery went really, really well. They got all of her cancer. Uh, Janice is in recovery. She's doing really well. And um, I just would ask for her salvation or prayers for her salvation if she's not saved. I don't know her, her, her spiritual standing. I don't even pretend to meddle with that. But um, from, from what I believe based on what she said... I, I believe that she has been deceived in thinking that she's saved, but I don't believe that she's saved. So uh, if she is saved, great. But if she's not, let's be praying for God to be uh, convicting her and moving her towards uh, putting her trust in him. Also, a praise uh, to continue for Kyle, um, who's from Idaho. He was suffering with back pain. He was looking like he was going to go to surgery as well. Um, fortunately, through prayer, I believe... Uh, God has at least stayed his back to where it doesn't need surgery. And um, he's been learning a bunch of different things through physical therapy and he's on the road to recovery and he continues to do well, but continues to ask for our prayers. Diana from Montana was another request that we had. Um, she's a widow who has been struggling with health and finances and 
her lease for the place that she's renting is going to be up soon and she doesn't know where she's going to go. Um, she's really um, distressed about this. So just please keep her in your prayers. Continue to pray for her. Um, Garrett from Washington, his wife was seeking or he is seeking salvation for his wife. And this is an ongoing uh, request. There's unfortunately no good news to report here. And then a dear friend of mine from Florida, Ryan, um, me and him have corresponded a lot through the years of this ministry. He's been very faithful to this ministry and uh, he's a faithful soul winner right now. He's working with a number of different men trying to lead them to Christ. Um, some of them are family, some of them are friends, but pray for the souls of Garland, Raj, Cole, Spencer, Rudy, and Rob for their salvation. And that's an ongoing request for them. So that is going to conclude this week's prayer meeting. But before you go, if you are wanting to know how you can support the work that we do here, there are five easy ways. First, you can share our studies with those who you know who need the word of God. You can also share them on all your social media platforms. And it's okay to post things about God in social media. Trust me, it'll get a response, but it might give you an opportunity to speak truth. Second is to like this video if you found the content helpful. Third is to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. These three actions support the algorithms inside of YouTube to help the word to go out. Fourth is through giving. The work that I'm doing in this mission field is my full-time job. I'm not monetized by YouTube and I rely solely on viewer support, so no gift is too small. You can send your gift of support through Venmo or Zelle. For Venmo, use the QR code on the screen or search by email, which is how you will find me on Zelle as well. But most importantly, the biggest way that you can support this ministry is through prayer. James 5.16 says that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man will avail much. People need truth and prayers can help, so please pray for this mission. If you have prayer requests or would like to share your story, the best way to communicate with me is by email, which is tinylifebigmission at gmail.com. Thank you all for the time that you give to pray for each other. Um, let's go on ahead and close this meeting with a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for... Uh, the ability to pray to you, Lord, we thank you that you have given us your ear and your attention, that we can call on you anytime that we need you, Lord, and that you are always available to hear us. Um, Lord, I do lift this mission to you and ask you to just guide it whichever way you would. Uh, I'm not sure about the provisions for it. If uh, you'd have somebody to, to finance things for us, if you would uh, have me to get a job, if you, I just want to be in your will, Lord. So I pray that you would continue to um, work that you would continue to show us the path that you have for us and whether it's uh, going on the pct and, and witnessing to people there spreading the truth there or if it's getting a job uh, lord i just trust you i also lift uh, the request that we've talked about today to you lord i praise you for the work that you're doing in janice's life and i ask you for her salvation that if she's not saved lord you can continue to work on her and convict her where she needs convicting and uh, that you would lead her to your truth, Lord. I pray for uh, Garrett and for his wife, that you would continue to um, bring her salvation. I also lift Ryan and the work that he's doing down in Florida, Lord, that you would just bless him with some fruit and that you would help him to continue to be faithful and strong in the work that he's doing. If he is uh, ever experiencing discouragement, Lord, that you would just pick up his uh, spirits and, and keep him going on the path that you have for him, Lord. And I do ask for uh, your provision for Diana and Montana, that you would um, show her whatever path it is that you'd have for her, Lord, and that you would provide for her. And uh, I know that she looks to you for your, her provision, Lord, and she just trusts you and loves you. And I, and I know that um, you have many promises for the people who put their trust in you and your word, Lord. And I just ask you to provide for her in whatever means that you feel fit. And um, we do thank you for Kyle and his back surgery and, and the way that you've healed him. And I just pray, Lord, that you would continue to work in his body, that you would give him a testament to be able to speak truth to others uh, for the work that he's doing. And Lord, we just thank you for how good you are. We thank you for hearing us and just working in our lives. Lord, I thank you for your mercy and the grace that you give us, that you don't just get so frustrated with us and give up on us, even though that's what we deserve. You are forever gracious to us forever merciful to us and it's nothing that we can repay it's nothing that we deserve and it's all for your glory lord i just praise you for it for how good you are despite us and we just thank you and praise you in jesus name amen okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>